Cuando yo llego aquí, lembe, 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 Cuando yo llego aquí, le... So welcome in, I'm Goon Green, otherwise known as Philip, and this program is a new conception, I'm very excited to, to delve into this um, with someone that I'm so inspired by daily, so yeah, maybe if you can introduce yourself to everyone. Yeah, um, uh, my name is Talia, and it's, it's an honor to... Uh, to be here and um, obviously so grateful for you because of our special relationship and um, this opportunity to uh, play this this music that is um, that is so important to you know not not just to me but to to our community and 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 to all of Latin music. It's it's uh, it's the origin of it all and I think it's so important to remember those roots and you know start from from the basics of it all which is like the 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 beat of of the drum which is the beat of the heart which is like um like the rumberos say in Cuba it's it's uh rumba is is the mother which which births children and that's where so many genres came from, and you know, it's been one of my biggest passions. I've, I've lived with it, you know, I was, I was raised with it, and there was a moment where, um, not so long ago, I, I really heard a song that, that just connected me to a point where my body was was taken aback and I was like wow this is something that you know it should be shared and, and should be just you know given such the importance that it is because of its origin so it's 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 a blessing to to be to share that music and um, yeah yeah, and then speaking of blessings too, I think that's one of the the major blessings of being here in, in Miami, South Florida, is just 90 miles. You know, Havana is so close. Obviously, yeah. Matanza is a little bit further away. Yeah. But, but yeah. just so close to this culture, and and obviously we live in, you know, this kind of modern era where all these new conceptions are coming, and, and yeah. we see these new flowers kind of blooming from the seeds that were planted long ago. But I think at the same time, it's important to to recognize and still cherish those seeds um, and go back to the root, like you said. So speaking on that song that you mentioned that was um, very uh, inspirational and kind of drew you to the music in that way, yeah. uh, we actually have that song here to share with, with everyone checking out the show. Yeah, I'm excited for that. That song, um, I remember I was, uh, I was working at this, uh, at this restaurant and 
Um, you know, like I said, I, I grew up with, with the, the Cuban and the African, the African uh, Yoruba music, but I had been so kind of, um, you know, it's been so many years since I had heard it, and I was working that one day, and I heard this, this specific song by Patato, and I remember just listening to it, and it just like, just stopping me, and, and, and I was like, my whole body felt like a shock, like if, like if my soul remembered something, and that's where my passion truly just, just began, and, and this, this urge to keep, you know, furthering the, the, the knowledge and, and, and the discovery, and to, to because it, it is a music that has been, you know, marginalized and, and, and it's taken, it's been misunderstood, but it's really like the mother of all Latin music. So having that discovery again, especially coming from the place, you know, being born from Cuba and, and having that like so connection, um, that song is really important and I'm excited to, to share and to listen to that. Yeah. Yeah, same. Yeah, incredible. Thank you so much for, for sharing those beautiful words and, and thoughts. Thank you. So we're going to let the current track play out and then we're going to step into that tune that you mentioned from Patato, Carlos Patato Valdez, for anyone who doesn't know. Yeah. Um, from a record of his, uh, Ready for Freddy, I believe it's called. Yes. From 1976. Right. Uh, authority. Yes, on authority records, yeah. Entitled LP Inspiration Part One. Part One. That's the song. some tea started for us. <laughs> Ooh, there it is. Yamile. Mosura, y te miro de leo, con te pano de mosura, y te miro de leo, oh, que si me acerca mucho, no te queda ni el pellejo.
misma manera. LP Inspiration Part 1, Patata Valdez, here on Miami Community Radio. I'm Philip, alongside Talia. Thank you to everyone for joining us up to this point Thank you. as um, we start to steep some of this incredible Ali Shan Oolong tea that was donated um, by uh, Jojo Tea, an incredible uh, tea house here in Miami. Uh, much love and respect to them. Hopefully we can get them on the station at some point to do some uh, sharing of tea culture and, and knowledge. That would be incredible. Yeah, tea culture has uh, has been significant as well, and uh, I don't think I think it goes so great with with uh, with this music, you know, the simplicity of what tea is, and um, yeah, hopefully we get that going. Um, I think the 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 next track and and the next the next group that we should, you know, we should play is um, Los Muñequitos de Matanza, which um, were really the, the pioneers, really, of, um, of the stab. They, they were in a, in a, they were in a sample that, that established themselves in 1952, and, and we're talking, you know, in the beginning of the 1900s when the slaves came from from Africa, the, the there are two ports. There's Havana and Matanzas, and um, Matanzas is really like the birthplace of uh, of rumba. That's where you could really find, you know, its its origins. And the beauty of it is that there's you know there's a there's a, a more gentle, more zen way that they do it, you know, they first, the drums have to wait for the voices and and then in Havana they do it in a more faster pace, but um, the Muñequito de Matanzas were really like the, that's really the birthplace of, of what uh, rumba is and, and what it came to be, you know. When the, when the slaves in, in uh, in Cuba where, you know, they ultimately had their freedom, they they would be they would be played and they, they really started to to cultivate this this music. So um, Yeah, and I think the, the largest um, amount of slaves were brought to Matanzas, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. So that's really like they would at the beginning, you know, because there was, um, you know, the the Spanish, the Spaniards, you know, the colonialism that 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 was there. They weren't really like they couldn't really worship their their African gods, so they had to kind of do mm. like a like a mix. And whenever they would kind of get off work, you know, in very marginalized places like in Cuba, they called it Los Solares. They would play with whatever they could find, like a pan and a, and just like a spoon, and and that's really where where it all begins. So I think that's that's you know los muñequitos de matanza is a very very important part of what rumba is, and and um, yeah. Yeah. Thank you for sharing that. Yeah. So now we're gonna step into. 
Um, some tunes from a record of theirs from uh, 1995, so not from around the time that they were formed, and, and we'll get into a little bit later about kind of how the ensemble is, is, is an idea unto itself, less so than like a more traditional band where you know the people that are in the band are the band and then right because then they it, leave. yeah because it is like it is so connected to like the religious factor of it that it's almost like a, it's like a, a tradition that's kind of like you know they were formed in 1952 officially but um, you know they're still around today because it's like passed down like to become to become Omoanya to to be able to play, you have to become Omoanya, and that you know revolves around the religion of of Yoruba itself, and um, it's like it's so it's so traditional that it's like passed down, you know. So that's that's really the beauty of it. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go into this this one, th these recent, and then we're gonna go into uh, their older stuff, but yeah.
Oye, hay un comentario en la calle, niño, que dice que los muñequitos de matanza no saben tocar samba. Eh, pero ¿quién dijo eso, chico? Tú verás ahora. Te voy, te voy. 
Musica yeah. de la Edad Oro. Talia, my co-host. I'm Philip. Thank you guys so much for, for tuning in. That was an absolute scorcher. <laughs> Got the energy up, for sure. <laughs> I mean, that's that's what rumba does. Rumba just, you know, it makes you, it's it's it makes you move. It's it's the the origin of it all, you know. It's the the beat of the heart. And um, well, that that was uh, Los Muñequitos de Matanza. That was um, one of their from the album De Palo Pa Rumba, which was released in two thousand nine, and. Um, uh, you know, the, the beauty about it, too, is because that Havana also has, like we were speaking, it has its own way of, like, you know, of playing rumba, you know. And, and rum, rumba consists of, of, when you talk about rumba, you have, you know, you have three genres. You know, you have um, three or four, actually, because we're, you know, there's abacua, which is like a, a separate uh, um but it's still united. You have um, what is wawanko, which is what we normally listen to. And then there's the yambu, which is with a slower kind of, you know, with a clave, which is like, think of a metonymy, like, you know, it's like what kind of brings everything together, like the timing. And then you have the columbia, which is, Supposedly, you know, when when you, your rumba is, is 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 three elements. It's the music, it's it's the dancing, and it's the singing. You know, and with Colombia, it's uh, traditionally Colombia is only danced by men, but there is some women that you know that dance it, and and you know, it's it's basically when you the Colombia side of it is. Uh, is when the quinto, which is one of the drums that kind of, you know, basically is, is the one that's like speaking to the dancer in a way. It's like calling out the dancer. Right, um, smaller and I think higher pitched. Yeah. Versus the tumadora. Exactly. That's like the, the or like uh, men usually are the one that, that really like get really into the columbia, but it's like, you know, women do it as well, some women. There's there's no strict rules to it really, but um but yeah, um what we we're saying about how Matanza does it, like we we're listening to the Muñequito Matanzas, Havana does it in a in a more faster, more kind of agitated way, which I think it it, it it's beautiful as well, you know. It has its is because of the, I don't know, because Matanzas was like the origin and then how it was brought to Havana. And I think the energy of, of what Havana is, it's such a fast city, it's like the capital mm. and, you know, um, yeah, I think, um, I think there's, there's the beauty in that, that there's, there's these, these two different styles that, that can be heard with rumba. Yeah, absolutely. And then, so coming up next, we wanted to step into some of those different kind of styles within rumba, these genres that you mentioned. Right, yeah. Um, yeah, so um, El Necio next, the, the Silvia Rodriguez version. These tunes are coming from Havana, to clarify, based on this conversation that we had about Matanzas versus Havana. We listened to the Muñequitos de Matanzas, and now we're stepping into a group that is really representative of the Havana sound. Yeah. Yoruba and Dabo yeah. and their record, El Espiritu de la Rumba, uh, which has representation from three of those styles that you mentioned. Of course, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the next tune is called um, El Necio, and it's actually uh, a song originally made from Silvio Rodriguez, which is a, a trovador um, in Cuba, who is very, uh, He's a poet, and uh, they basically got, you know, they got his lyrics, and he, they made this this uh, very very uh, beautiful song, I think. And yeah, and then after that, we'll hear La Gozadera from the same record. Yeah. And then finally, we'll hear that Colombia style that you mentioned. Yeah. To Colombia Libre. Yeah. Musica de la Edad Oro. I'm Philip. It's Talia. Thank you guys for joining. And we're going to move forward with the, the music. Mm. 
Let's do it. Wala wala la wang a wang la wang la, a wang ya wang la la wang a wang la wang la, a ni a wang la wang a wang la wang la, a ni a we le we a wang la wang la, a ni a we le we a wang la wang la, a ni a we le we a wang la wang la. Para no hacerte mi cono pedazo, para salvarme entre únicos impares. Para cederme un lugar en su carnazo, para darme un rinconcito en sus altares. Me vienen a convidar a arrepentirme, me vienen a convidar a que no pierda, me vienen a convidar a arrepentirme, me vienen a convidar a que no pierda, me vienen a convidar a indefinirme, me vienen a convidar a tanta mierda. Yo no sé lo que se te pide. Dale.
Like that specific song, like what I was saying, it was, you know how the, you know how we went from the matanzas to like, to the Havana, and it, even even the words are saying like, y el miedo lo dejamos en la gaveta, which is saying like, and even the fear, we like, we leave it in the drawer, and it's more of like, we have more of like, uh, in Spanish you say, una forma despota, you know, mm. like, uh, like a very like, more more crude, more wild, you know, even in, in the sound, you know, you could hear it, it's like, you know, they're like wild and out, you know, which is, it, it's like the culture of, of what, you know, Havana is, it's like the city and, 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 and the spirit of it, but yeah. Um, and then the next track we're gonna play is, um, is a Columbia, which is one of the other genres of, of or like falls from the, the the tree of what rumba is, um, and it's it's basically it stands very slower in a way, you know, like like a jambu. It's mostly danced by by men too. The Colombia. It's like a very like the dance that they do. It's a very like. You know, I don't know how to. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll how get to some do dancers right now, in here at some point. Yeah. yeah. Huh? We'll get some dancers. Oh, for, for sure. Show. We'll yeah. get some dancers here. Yeah, <laughs> for a couple of shows, so so we can really get that, cause cause that's what rumba is. You know, it's like a combination of of the three. You know, it's 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 movement, it's sound, it's it's voice. It's like it's so elemental. Mm. You know. So yeah. But you saw how that was like so much faster and like, yeah. you know, how, like the, the, how in the matanzas, you know, the drum waits for the, the, the voices mm -hmm. and here, like the drums are fucking going <laughs> <up. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> Which I love, I fucking love, you know? <laughs> it's like, it's, it's, it's a lot of, it's a lot of, of us, you mm. know? Sometimes we're, more in a calmer space, you know, more in a traditional way, but sometimes, you know, we're progressive and, and that's the beauty of it. 
Yeah. Yeah. So what are we going to listen to next? We're going to do uh, La Columbia Libre and see how that, like, the melody of that is, um, you know, different, mm. slower a little bit.
Those feet can't stop moving, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Columbia Libre from Yoruba and Dabo. And uh, this group, again, just to mention, uh, from Havana. So this is a little bit faster paced version of the, the Columbia, which in Matanzas would be a little bit more reserved. Yeah. Yeah. Once again, you're listening to Musica de la Edad Oro with Talia, as well as myself, Philip. Thanks to everyone for tuning in. We've now reached the, the final portion of the show where we want to. Uh, delve into this religious aspect of the music that we've touched on before um, with these these chants that are uh, orishas, basically a, a tribute to these different deities within the Yoruba um, religion. And, and the rhythm runs so deep, it's so connected to the culture right. in, in Cuba in, in a way that you don't really experience in the States because of the melting pot of it all and how everyone comes from different places. And yeah. The yeah. tradition isn't as... Um, traditional, <laughs> right. uh, which creates incredible, you know, I think it's a lot of the reason why we have such experimental music and why these new ideas are made, but uh, in places like Cuba, Havana, and Matanzas, it, it's so deep, it goes back to the root, like we've been talking about the root this show, with the yeah. rumba. So, coming up next, connecting as well to this kind of through line of contrasting Havana versus Matanzas, we wanted to play a couple of the different chants um, from Yoruba and Dabo, which you just heard. This is now the conclusion of their tune, Col Colombia. Um, and then also with uh, the Munya Quitos de Matanzas, which we started the show with. And they were the kind of one of the first uh, original rumba groups, um, I believe starting with the name uh, Guaguanco de Matancero in, in 1952. Yeah. Um, so we're going to listen to three of the chants, the Babalu, followed by the chongo, um, and then finally... Ochun. Yeah, closing out with Ochun. Yeah. So we're going to start with the Munyo Kitos, and then s after, right, after that, contrast it with the Yoruba. So you'll hear Munyo Kitos, Babalu, Yoruba, Babalu, and then so on and so forth with the chongo and the Ochun. Yeah. <laughs>
chant from Yoruba Andabo here as we close out that final portion of our show. I'm Philip, this is Talia, Musica de la Adad Oro. Uh, as we just closed out this uh, comparison between different Orishas from Yoruba Andabo, like I just mentioned, and then uh, the Los Muñequitos de Matanzas. So we heard the Ochun from both groups where Matanzas was the first, and then before that we heard the Chongo, and first we heard the Babalu. Uh, yeah, kind of closing out that connection between Havana and Matanzas, and then also relating to the Yoruba tradition and these uh, deep rhythmic ideas. So now, as we conclude the program, thank you again to everyone for listening and checking out this debut of this beautiful program. I'm so honored to be able to share this music, share this experience, share thank this tea. Thank you so much, yeah. Thank you again to Jojo Tea for providing this beautiful Ali Shan yeah. Oolong Tea. From Rumba and Tea is just like the perfect combination. Yes, yeah, incredible. <laughs> like you said, the simplicity of it, mm -hmm. the truth. So now we're going to close out the show with... Alma Mia uh, from Patato Valdez.
cantaré. Escúchame, papaito, fue la mujer cual un día puso su mano en mi pecho. Fue la mujer cual un día puso su mano en mi pecho. Yo suspiré satisfecho y pensé que me quería. Luego con hipocresía a mi amor correspondió. Pues qué debo de hacer yo si a la ya me he convencido. Si me pregunta un amigo decirle ya se murió. Ajá. A la 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 la. Una mujer que lloraba, caramba, la muerte de su marido Y en la cartera llevaba la carta de su buen amigo Y sonaremos el tambor y le tendremos en cuenta Y sonaremos el tambor y le tendremos en cuenta Ya que tú sabes cantar, al compás de mi recuerdo. Y un émulo de para bien, y una vida feliz, feliz caballero. Oye, porque este coro muchas flores te envía. Porque este coro muchas flores te envía. Dentro de mi cantar, eh, el rey de los trovadores, y mañana yo me muero, el rey de los trovadores, así, papi, el rey de los trovadores.
ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ 